Hey, Charlene Burke here with your tip of the day. And today's tip is about the Facebook news feed. Many of us, when we first get on Facebook, are all excited about how many friends we have. And we, all we have to do is go to our homepage and we can see everybody's post in front of us. And, and life is grand. And that's great for the first 25 to 100 friends that you might have. But honestly, you start getting more than that and it's almost impossible to keep up with who is saying what and when and what's happening in their lives. So I'm going to show you a way to organize your newsfeed. Now, how do you do that? I knew you would ask. It's quite simple, actually. So if we come to the home page, this is the newsfeed you are all familiar with. It is loaded up with uh, friends, pages, paid advertising, paid advertising inside, my newsfeed all over the place. Well, if we look to the left here, when we scroll down, we can see friends. Oh, interesting. If I select more, you will see that actually I have available to me lists. Well, these lists with these um, various symbols were actually created by Facebook, and it's up to me to put people into them. These were created by me as a way to separate or segment these particular people from my general friends list, also from my general news feed. What that means is that I can select one of my lists, and now the only people I'm going to see in here in this custom list are those that I put in there. And there's a reason I put them in there. You don't have to understand it. It's for me to keep up with the people I have on this list. So how do we create a list? Well, again, go to Friends, More, Create List. You can see here I can name it anything I want. I've decided I'm going to call it Fun Friends. Now, because I know who they are, all I have to do is start adding them to the list. All right. And I can add as many or as few as I want. I create the list. And as you can see, fun friends. Now the only thing in my news feed are posts from the people that I selected to be on this list. Now if I want to manage this list, I can rename it. I can edit it, take people on, take people off. I can delete any interaction with these people from this list. So for instance, in this post here, I decide I want to like it. I want to comment on it. I can do all sorts of things just as I would in the newsfeed, right? If I delete this list, it does not remove my interaction with those posts. Again, all we're doing is simply segmenting the people that I want to see in front of me. Another place to add people to the list is underneath here in the right-hand side. Oh, screen jumping. And all I have to do is type in a name, and now I've added somebody to the list. So if I delete... The list is no longer available, but the people will still remain in my general news feed and in my general list. Now, if there is a group that I am, I believe it's important I keep up with on a regular basis, I can add them to my favorites, which is in this section here. All I have to do is hover on the list and you can see the gear, select the gear, add to favorites, and now you can see that this was added. So I don't have to scroll down to my list area. If I want to remove from favorites, simply click the gear and remove from favorites. So I hope you found this tip of the day helpful to organize your Facebook news feed so that you can keep up with your friends, your family, your customers, your potential customers. I want you to think about that for a second. This is Charlene Burke. You can go to my personal blog at Grow Because You Know. That's www.growbecauseyouknow.com. Until next time, have a great day.